So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 102. It's going to be a bit weird now, isn't it, saying 102? It's a lot of effort. Um, but yeah, I haven't even done my hair today, because there's no point. There's just no point. I'm going to be pulling it out half the time. However, saying that, we are going to be using a gameplay mod today. I did kind of play maybe like three quarters of a match with this mod, and it seemed to be better. Now, it is a lot slower than the default gameplay, which is something I'm going to have to adjust to, but I did not see as much scripting and nonsense players being idiots. I mean, it's still going to happen, but I'm going to try this out for two matches. We're going to take on Man City, which is going to be a tough game, and then we take on Aston Villa. So that's the game plan. Let's test out this mod. It is by Holland. I think it's called Live Football Mod or something like that. I'll leave the link in the description. But it's the best we're going to do right now. All right. So before we dive into it, I'm going to read one comment. TTB's idiot comment of the day. Um, I thought this was quite funny. Here we go. Ready? And I'm, I'm going to show. I'm going to. Hey, if you leave me a comment like this, I'm going to announce it for everyone to see. Because it, there's just no need. There's no need for a comment like this. But I'm going to read it because it's, it's really hurt my feelings. And I, uh... <laughs> no, we're fine. All right, here we go. Uh, from Daniel, he said, This game is sucks, blah, blah, in, in all caps. Um, only if your team lost. Eh? Uh, if you're winning, if you are winning, then yeah, this game is fine. Coward character, grow up man. There it is. And, you know, the funny thing about these comments is, I don't know if you guys watch the videos or you just go to the results. And then uh, you leave a comment like that. Probably, you know, the facts are I showed you numerous scenarios of the game doing dumb things. All data, pi data pack 5 related. Um, so the proof's in the pudding. You know, if you want to leave a comment like that, go for it. I mean, I just, I find it humorous and funny at the same time. But, you know, saying grow up is quite funny. You're literally telling everyone who's played data pack 5 to grow up because it is poor. Anyway, let's dive into it. So, looking at today, folks, obviously there's Manchester City playing a 4-3-3, quite attacking, Aguero up top, Sterling on the left, Bernardo Silva on the right. But we're going to go for this, all right? Strakosha, Mina, Tar, Klosterman. It's a good back line today. A very tall bit of pace as well with Klosterman. Uh, we're going to go Barrios, Camavinga, and I'm going to start Odegaard, okay? I'm going to start him. Someone also mentioned, like... <sighs> Stop, like, worrying about form as much and just focus on someone's, you know, position. But look, folks, Pez is always about form. Like, if you don't play Pez and you're coming from FIFA, then form to you, you don't know what it means. You may know what it means, you may not. But ultimately, if they're on blue, they can have up to, like, 12 point stat boost on certain point, on, on certain attributes. If they're on green like this, they get, like, a six or so boost. If they're on neutral, then they're just standard. And anyone that's on, like, orange or red, pointless. Because they lose stats. That's why you don't play them. But anyway, for this reason, I am going to play David. I'm going to play him as a second striker because he's on the blue form. And no one else up top is up for it today apart from Shalov. But I'm going to play David because I want that little bit more cover. A little bit more tracking back by him. And then Odegaard has the ability... With his long balls, his through balls. He's also got the pinpoint crossing trait. I don't know how useful that's going to be with, uh, you know, an attacking mid. But I'm going to try him. So we've got a little bit of flexibility in there. Via on the right. Kulu's on the left. You know, four marrows, though, do seem to have taken uh, a bit of a hit since the last data pack. Like, I'm not feeling it as much. You know, what is the point of having him then? That's my question. Sorry, my voice is up and down today. I don't know. Got a bit of a cough. What's going on? Um, well, I know what's going on. We've been shouting too much on PES. Anyway, that's the lineup for today. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of forwards on the bench if we need to bring them on. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to go for. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Also, if you have recommendations for, um, you know, certain uh, tactics to play, you know, I'm going to be playing wide today. I normally play down the center, but thinking about it, let's be honest, I like to play with width. Uh, we'll give Man City the new kit that we've made. Um, so I'm going to use width. I'm going to see how it works. Anyway, without further ado, I will see you guys there. Let's see what fun happens today. All right, here we go. Strap yourself in. Get the old seatbelt out. And strap yourself in, folks. It's going to be a bumpy one. 
Uh, but yeah, the gameplay is slightly slower, so that's something I'm going to have to get used to. I actually tried playing on Game Speed 1. I'll have a listen. Maybe this will motivate me. Uh, but yeah, I, I tried playing on Game Speed 1, but I felt like it was a little bit too fast. So I would rather play on just sort of gameplay default, you know, zero. Anyway, let's dive into this. So you guys will see it will be a slower pace. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this, because you guys are going to see it all. And I'm going to tell you what I think of it, so don't worry about that. What, is it going to be easier than normal? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. It's not even that. I just want I want to be fairly battled. I want my matches to feel like I control my players. And, uh, you know, when we create chances, we can create them. I'll tell you what, this is a lovely move early on here. Lovely play. Sebastian Villa delivers it in. Oh, what a start. See, that is more like it. When the players are actually juicy, then you can do the magic. Ooh, what about that for a start? Poor blind. I don't think I've ever scored straight from kickoff. But I'm not going to say anything because they're only three minutes in. It could just be luck. But look at this. Camavinga. It was uh, on a guard. David via David. Back to via Back to David. Back of the net. Lovely. All right. Well, if, if it continues to play like this, then I might be happier. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, Zinchenko. Ooh, crowded out by Villa. And uh, right now, Man City looking a bit uh, worse for wet. But players like Villa and stuff should be should be winning and have speed against some of these players because of the, uh, you know, the advantage he does have with the four. Anyway, that is the ball and a half there by uh, Luigi. And now David's in. And this is a chance here to grab another one. And what a start this is. Well, it's baffling. Absolutely baffling. Has the gameplay mod really changed that much? It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, we are still on Legend. I'm not changing that. I mean, it's it's all the same. Anyway, two goals in, in six minutes. And David, apparently, is an absolute beast at playing as a second striker. So, good stuff. All right, let's see what kind of a reply Manchester City have. To uh, Garcia, back to Kevin De Bruyne. Here is Bernardo Silva. Porto. Subias again. But there's a long way to go here. A long, long way to go. Zinchenko. Now, what this, you know, what this mod is meant to do, though, is eliminate a lot of the scripting. So all that goes out the window. You know, with the stuff where... I mean, I don't know how it works. I don't know. I'm not in development. I don't know how coding works in these games. But obviously on the higher difficulties, that's not a great pass. You know, there's some sort of an advantage for the AI because that's how they basically beat you um, at your own game. So if you eliminate that and the game becomes fairer and more consistent, then, you know, what, what, what are you going to complain about? If you beat a team fair and square, then no one can really complain. Anyway, here's a chance for Odegaard. It's a lovely pass over the top to uh, Camavinga. All right, lads. Chance for the corner. All right, here we go. Mina comes across. Mina does flick in. Oh, Luigi's there. Oh, it could have been 3 now. Where was the marking for City? They just ran off. Well, they didn't run off. They just weren't there. And now a chance for the City, but they've given it away. Odegaard, that's a free kick, Raf ran straight into him. All right, well, it's a Luigi-esque kind of range, as we know. Question is, how is it? Oh, we saw the whip on that. That went... <laughs> so, 17 minutes in. But we have changed the tactics as well. You know, we are using width as opposed to playing down the middle. Don't know if that's going to help. Anyway, here's a chance for Bernardo Silva with an attempt. And that's, uh, well, Man City's first chance of the game. Taking them a little bit of time. Not a great pass, Badios. Come on, wake up, son. Here's Rodri. But it could all change. It could all change. Only takes a moment. Here's Zinchenko. 
looking to take on Villa. And I'm just going to leave this gameplay mod. Whatever happens in this scoreline, if I end up winning 6-0, I'm still going to put it out there. I mean, I just want to test something else out. You guys will see it all. Bernardo Silva, Sterling. But you can see that AI aren't playing that ridiculous tick attacker. They're being a little bit more cautious about it. Oh, Aguero, lovely turn. And there you go, just like that. Blink of an eye. You don't let Sergio Aguero turn in the box from there. And it was patience. It was patience. They, they worked it well. Once he did that, no chance. All right, well, this is going to make the game very, very interesting. Two goals to one. 22 minutes in. All right, let's just, just possess the ball. Odegaard. We'll see what Odegaard can do, honestly. We'll see what he can do. Maybe he'll pull out the magic today. I mean, he's not on form or anything, but... Doesn't mean... Uh, look, look at David, though. I mean, he feels good. He feels good. Look at him. Twisting one way. He's quick. He's nimble. He's like a little ninja. And then he gives it away to uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Odegaard flicks it on. Looking for Kulu. Kamavinga. Oh, up against Ceballos. Inside to David. He flicks it on. Veer again. The old roundabout. Flicks it off. Odegaard looking to get it on the old left foot. Now he goes for the bender. And it wasn't good enough. Next up we have got, what, Aston Villa coming up. Here's the bias now. But yeah, we need to get back to winning matches consistently because we've dropped so many points over the last couple of games. This is a big match. This is a whopper. And uh, that should be comfortable for Strakosha. But yeah, this is an extremely, extremely big game. If we, if we win today, then we open up a six-point lead ahead of City. If we don't win, well, then we don't. Oh, that's a problem. Sergio Aguero's in. Deflection nicely kindly uh, fell towards Strakosha. Do we go for the big clearance? Not really worth it because we don't have anyone up top today who's going to win the headers, so we'll play it short. Kamavinga to uh, Kulisevsky. Right, let's just, just patiently build this around by uh, Barrios towards Villa. Well, David was there. Uh, I was worried he was offside, so I didn't pass the ball to him. Garcia to uh, Kevin De Bruyne. We round to Porto. Back flick. 33 minutes gone. Man City had a, a dreadful start, but they've, uh, they've got back in this game. That's not a bad ball, you know. Go on, you Luigi. Ruben Diaz. Let's see what he does with it here. Fair enough. Smartly done. Back towards Edison. Although his clearance is a shocker. And he has given this away. Now Luigi wants it all the way towards the back post. Can he win the header? That's one thing I noticed. If they put their hands up like they're signalling for a bus, whip that ball in. Whip it in. Especially if they've got the pinpoint crossing trait. There's a good chance they're going to win that header. Well, I, I tell you what, I'm 35 minutes on in here and I'm not seeing the stupidness that I've seen in the last few matches. Although saying that is a chance now for Raheem. Looks to turn. Oh, it's a dangerous ball in. Luckily, blimey, that was a nearly a gift. Oh, he's elbowed him in the face. That's a guaranteed yellow. No, no yellow? Hmm, that's a shock. I thought he gave him the old... Well, you know, Barrios loves a good... A lo he loves a good fondle. Keep that between you and me. Anyway, this is a chance here for Kevin De Bruyne. We are going to move the goalie, but he's hit the wall. And now apparently also free kicks may be harder uh, with this mod as well. I think he did maybe possibly play around with the uh, the free kicks. So we'll see. Luigi. I mean, Luigi's... He's going to be harder now to use him. He's been lacking a little bit recently. Oh, another chance here for Aguero. Don't let him turn. Oh, oh he's a nuisance. I think the big question is going to be when we play the, the lower teams, how are they going to play? Uh-oh, problems again, Aguero. Wrath! See, I don't like this. I don't like the fouls being given here. It's always a problem when you use these mods. Sometimes the collisions get even worse than they normally are. I mean, is this a foul? Once again, it's, it's just the arms. 
And Mina's like, what are you going to do? Chop me arms off? You know, there's a chance here for Kevin De Bruyne once again. Can he get it over the wall? No, he can't. Out for a corner. All right, lads, come on. We need to maintain this. Hold on. Five minutes to play. Man City have definitely got back in this game. Oh, that's a terrible place to lose it. Now a chance for Rodri. Lays it onto the edge of the box. Working it around well. That's a good challenge there. And that should be comfortable for Strakosha. It is. And let's see if we can get this moving quickly. No, no. Not going to even get... Not even going to try it. We'll start around the other way instead. Tart towards uh, Kulisevsky now. Kamavinga. Odegaard. Luigi wants it to the feet. Oh, it's not a bad idea. Looking for David. Oh, he stole it. Then he lost it. De Bruyne flicks it on, but look, even Kevin De Bruyne is making a loose pass for once. You've never seen it before. Odegaard, watch the quick turn. There he goes. The old left-footed wizard. Ah, can keep it down. All right, two minutes till the break. Um, I've made Barrios defensive anyway, so he's going to literally stay at the back. I don't want him getting forward because Aguero's already caused us a few issues today. So uh, what with that happening? Yeah, I don't want it. I just don't want it. Here's Porto towards Silva. Yep, here he is again. Aguero, don't, don't let him do it. Ceballos. But they're playing. I really like the way that AI are playing. Like, I generally really like this. This is... I mean, they are playing some great stuff. And then the end finish was... <laughs> but very human-like. And that's what I like to see. Anyway, let's dive into the second half. Okay, the second half is officially off. There's a lot of attempts in the first half. Ten attempts to, I think, seven. Although I did have a couple of long ranges. But honestly, I like the first half very much. Like, I don't care about losing. I will lose matches if I don't deserve to win. If Man City outplay me today and the goals they score are not cheap goals, I have no problems. No problems with it. Go on, you, David. And right now, I really like this gameplay mod. But I've only played half a match. So we're going to have to play a lot more. Um, and, and generally it's against the lower teams that, you know, you want to test it out. I mean, Man City have played some good stuff. They pinged it about. Scored a decent goal. And, and, the, and the main thing is, I feel like I have control of my players. Right now, though. All right, Villa. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, if we score from this, it's brilliant. Oh, look at the feet from Sebastian. Sexy as you like. Hang on a minute. Look at the space. Oh, David. What a chance. A similar start to uh, the first half. Well, we started off well. And Man City looked a little bit ropey. Yeah, well, how long has it been since we scored with Luigi? Too long. Too, too long. That's fine. We'll continue, to, we'll continue to grow Luigi. He's still lacking a bit of quality. And Oh, here we go. This is a chance now. David, this is where the quick gives and goes will work. Lovely play. Luigi! Oh, why did I bother? I thought... Ugh, so annoying. I thought Edison was going to come out. But the Brazilian couldn't be asked. Nice play there. That's where the one-twos work a treat. Especially with a full blue David and Luigi. That's how the game should feel. I should have the advantage. Otherwise, Konami, honestly, get rid of four marrows for PES 2022 then. If they're not going to be relevant. I mean, a few of you said that data pack 6 and 7 are, are going to be in the works. I don't know, but we'll see. Honestly, they can't make the game any worse on, on the regular stuff. Well done, uh, Odegaard. Right, Camavinga. Back inside. Odegaard, will he get there? No, he won't. Sterling. Not going to beat... No, not going to beat... Oh, you are going to beat uh, Klosterman. Zinchenko. But isn't it amazing? How can a gameplay mod you know, enable the game to play like this. Oh, hang on, why did he open my mouth? Oh, it's off the post. Oh, great. I was going to say, what, what's he given here, a dive? Well, then book him. Give him a book in then. It's a yellow card for a dive because I won the ball. Let's see, yeah, he is in the book. Thank you, ref. Well played. Good acknowledgement of uh, the diving shenanigans. But yeah, isn't it amazing how someone can come up with this mod and literally eliminate the BS, but Konami can't do it? Are they tactically trying to do it? I, I, 
And I can also understand when people say, well, last year they kind of made the data pack worse so that more people would buy PES 2021, etc. Well, I can understand that for last year's game. But this year, there's a whole brand new game coming out. It doesn't make sense. Most people are going to get PES 2022 because it's a brand new engine. So, that's not a good pass. So that doesn't really add up. Like, a brand new game, brand new engine. Of course people are going to be interested. Because I will tell you this match, FIFA are not going to be coming out with a new engine. They are pretty much now going to be set in their frostbite uh, and just keep enhancing the PS5 and version, etc. So if you're expecting a new engine for FIFA, it's not happening. And I know this. Mm -hmm. All right, 64 minutes played. It's been a, a pretty even match so far. But the lads still feel good in the hands. This is what I'm liking right now. Here's a chance for Sebastian. David, get through the middle. No, no, no. Shocking pass, but Man City give it away now. Balios. Right, Kulisevsky start again. Mina. Balios. Veer again. Flick that one on. Kamavinga, a little touch on towards Kulisevsky. Now he's got plenty of players in there. Back post. Ah, I went over everyone's head. All right, well, I don't know when we're going to make a change. The thing is, no one on the bench is really on form today. So, I mean, bringing Lukaku on could be beneficial for the aerial threat. Oh, here we go again. Don't let him turn. All right, Mina, stay with Aguero. Bernardo Silva, don't let him uh, find Aguero's feet. Kevin De Bruyne, likewise. Sterling, looking for him, but well done, Barrios. Quality defending there, son. And now a chance to break it with Luigi if he can get to the ball. No, he can't. I'm actually quite liking David as a second striker. Oh, here we go again. Aguero wants to do it. Oh, he's hit the post. I swear those shots are predetermined, though. There's no stopping them. That's twice now they've hit the post like that. Is that predetermined? Maybe. What a let off. What a let off. Right, Luigi wants it. Uh, that's a good challenge. Credit to it. Ruben Diaz doing the business. Ceballos. Here is Porto. Just still a tough game to hold on. Especially when uh, Man City start doing this stuff. That's a loose pass, though. Given away this time. Villa's really feeling good today. Really feeling good. Well, that's a good pass as well. David. Now, Villa wants it back again. Well, he was there. Now feed it off. Sebastian's in. This time, oh, I should have gone the other way. Why didn't I go near post? Edison literally gave me... So we've got 15 minutes left. I really don't want to make changes. Uh, the, the team feels okay right now. I don't really want to disrupt the flow of them. So uh, I'm going to leave it be. I'm just intrigued to see if this is going to be consistent because this could be a one-off. It really could be. Because for the first time in a few games, you know, it does feel really nice... To control the players and I'm not fighting the game but we'll see anyway this is a chance for Aguero well done Mina that is a block and a half John Stones now looks like he's come on in the uh, what right back position Barrios backing away oh no 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 well done Mina again Luigi can't get there and we're under the cosh right now Rodri Stones Ceballos Bernardo Silva, Aguero, and well done, Klosterman. Sheesh. All right, well, I've made some tactical decisions here, some big changes. Barrios is going to push back to centre-back. We're literally playing four centre-backs here. Uh, Tielemans has come on, Luigi's had to go off. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try and hold on. We are going to try and hold on here for the remainder of ten minutes. Is it going to happen? Uh, we'll find out. Here's Stones. Tielemans has missed it. Bernardo Silva. No, don't let him get it on the left. No, don't let Aguero. Oh, Aguero, he's just, you can't, this guy. is such a pain in the backside. It's like when you get one of those annoying flies around your face and you just can't swat it away. These fouls, they're always going to happen. They're always going to happen as uh, Kuna Aguero's getting annoyed now with Klosterman. But when, when that happens, you, you just you hope that you win the ball. I mean, it's minimal contact, isn't it, Ref? It's it's minimal contact in a very 
I don't like this. This is very, very close to the goal. And it's going to be De Bruyne. <laughs> How many oh have I done in this episode? It's the oh episode. Oh, I don't know if I can hang on for another six or seven minutes. It's just corner and corner and corner. It's literally like playing Man City in real life here. All right, get it out, lads. De Bruyne, once again, they're playing the short one. Stones. Lays it across. Mendy, that's a heavy touch. Runs straight into Odegaard, who is going to get there first. But he hasn't got it. He hasn't got the strength because, uh, well, why would he have it? Sterling. Oh, what a ball in. Targets it away. Mina, stay on Aguero. Well done. Well done, Mina. Now hold him off. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right. Um, there's not a whole lot on, so we're going to do this. That'll do. Smart play by Mina. I was just trying to waste some time. Trying to have a little bit of movement. Ta. Right, we've got to keep the ball now. Possession is key with four minutes to spare. Banios all the way round to Klosterman. Sebastian. We take him on. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. Odegaard. Tielemans. It's not smart, is it? It's not smart. That's all right. Ta is there. Have Man City run out of juice. Not great play, Tar. You don't want to lose it there, big man. Well done for winning it back, because Bernardo Silva is not going to do much. And that will do nicely. Get it up the field. Actually, that's gone quite nicely into the corner. One minute to spare. I'm actually playing auto-defensive levels as well, so I'm letting the computer decide. I think I might try that. Because often I'm like, I don't like tweaking and changing the attack and defence levels non-stop during a game. I'd, I'd rather computer do it. As, uh, well, Man City have got another chance here. Sterling. Do we let that run out? No, we don't. Well done, Ta. Get it away. Final few seconds. Ruben Diaz. Stones. Gundogan. And the referee blows the full tie. Oh, it's a big result. I really like that gameplay mod, folks. You didn't see any, any of the stuff that we saw in the last few matches. I didn't have to pause the game. I didn't have to show you dumb stuff happening. Why? Why using another get another mod has suddenly all that stuff gone? Well, it's been one game. I'm not going to get carried away, but I'm genuinely excited. I mean, look at that. It was like playing Manchester City. They had chances. They possessed well. They dominated us at times. They hit the post twice. Oh, look, looks like the ratings have changed slightly. A bit odd. Um, but yeah, overall, first game, uh, looking promising. But we'll see how the second game goes. Man of the match, David. So the other results, Fulham 0, Man United 1, Brighton 0, West Ham 2. Leeds losing to Crystal Palace. Burnley smashed Aston Villa. Southampton drew against Newcastle. Nottingham Forest lost again. Liverpool did beat Wolves. Arsenal beat Leicester. And Tottenham drawing against Chelsea. So we go back to five points clear currently. Uh, Liverpool now over Tottenham into second on the goal difference. Man City dropping to fifth. But it's still very, very close between second and fifth place. And yeah, Nottingham Forest are having a bit of a nightmare. They really have to step it up if they're going to secure themselves a place in uh, next season. Anyway, let's move on. Settling nicely. Well, he have one game. You know what I mean? But Odegaard looked decent, considering he wasn't on form. I mean, he looked nice. Luigi, I'm getting a little bit upset with Luigi that we're not we're not scoring like we were with him. And that's not the good thing that we want to see. Anyway, let's have a look at the lineup today. Yeah, of course, David's down. But have a look at Casemiro. He's buzzing. Um, so, yeah, I'll play around with the boys and return. All right, so we're going to go for this today. Uh, as you can see, David, Shalov, and Veer are all out of the equation. Uh, too much boozing last night. They, only had a, they had a lock in. Can you believe that? Uh, so, yeah, we're going to put Olsen in goal. He hasn't played in a while, um, and I'm going to play him. And then we're going to go the same back line as the last game. I thought it worked. Mina, Tar, and Klosterman. I, I mean, I probably shouldn't play around with the back line too much because it does disrupt the flow. But I also have to take into account stamina. Um, we're going to start Casemiro. Look at him. On the full blue. Gets his debut. Uh, and we're going to also make him the captain because it gives the fatigue a little bit of a help. Uh, we're going to go Camavinga in there with Odegaard today. 
said it kind of worked with those two in the last match. Uh, Hudson Odoi comes back because he's up for it along with Kulu, who seems to be going through a growth spurt right now. Uh, and then up top, I had a decision to make. Do we go Luigi, Lukaku, or Luigi and Marlon because of the form? But what I'm going to be doing is because Marlon has the super sub trait, I figured we whack him on in the second half, maybe do some damage with him, and we'll start big Rom up top and see if Luigi... I want to get Luigi some goals, man. I miss it. I miss that celebration. <clears throat> we need to get back to it. Anyway, that's the lineup. There's Aston Villa playing a 4-3-3, and we'll see how this goes. You know, the, the last match could have just been good fortune that the, that the team felt great. Also, take into account, I think my team spirit was a 96 or 97. Um, so now we're on, like, what? A 91. It might it might come into play. So, yeah, we'll wait and see. Anyway, let's... Uh, we're going to go green today. We're going to go green. All right, I will see you guys there. Take it on the Villa. <sighs> Can we do back-to-back -back wins? Can the game feel good? I hope. Uh, let's find out. So, the sun is shining and the weather is sweet. The question is, how will we play? As we take on... The Aston Villa. I don't know where they're lying in the table. I haven't really looked. But yeah, it's a gorgeous day. The sun's out. The guns are out. Nah, not today, folks. Not today. He's just got that one off. Yeah, it was a special 100 edition where you guys got to see the bicep. Anyway, here we go. It's going to be nice and green for you. So hopefully you can see the kits. Um, it's hurt me eyes. So hopefully I'll be able to see what's going on. But anyway, we should be fine. Here we go. Grealish brings it down the left-hand side. But yeah, I'm quite intrigued to see how, uh, you know, the the, le the lesser teams are going to play. Oh, that's a good effort. With this mod, because you never know. I mean, we are playing on Legend. Like, I used to have problems with mods because I was playing on Superstar. So, a lot of the times it was like, well... I'll tell you what, though. the, the they, they feel good. It, it honestly feels like I've gone back to the old data pack. I mean, it wasn't that great, that data pack, but it was still better than the shambles that we've had. El Ghazi. It's a good challenge there, Hudson. Let's feed that one into... Uh, well, it's not a bad idea if Luigi can get on the charge. One big romp. Get involved. Don't just be standing around twiddling the thumbs. Here is El Ghazi. Up against Tar. Looks to cut inside. Fires it into Watkins. Luckily, Mina got it away. Hain runs straight into... Uh, Odegaard, and now we've got a chance here. Great play, Luigi, and we'll take the foul. A referee. And Klosterman. Go on, Kulu. Go on, you son. A lovely play. Now, Lukaku is in there. Gone for the bicycle. He should have. Oh, look at all the space here. Odegaard. Lovely play. Oh, no. I, I knew as soon as I did that, the ball was going over there. I held it down way too far, but... Uh, lovely touch by Odegaard. Good feet as well. And a really, really, really bad finish. But, you know, the potential's there. He finds uh, Johnny Cash. El Ghazi. Oh, man, let's just hold him up. I and mean, we are playing wing now. I'm playing more down the wings because technically that's where I create most of my chances. So I thought, well, it's probably smarter just to say, yeah, let's play it down the flanks. We're also playing centering targets, so... You know, the lads, when they get a chance to whip it in, the players will be in the box. That's comfortable for Mina. And it's not so much... I'm not really worried about Aston Villa playing the long balls and whipping them in from the flanks because I have the height advantage. Mina, Tar, Klosterman. You know, these are all tall players. We should be winning the headers. All right, Tar, let's get a bit of possession going here. Mina, Casemiro, Klosterman looking for uh, Kulusevski. Trying to find no one. That's not a bad idea, but Mina comes across. But, you know, Aston Villa are closing us down, though. They're not just standing around like a couple of spare ones. Mina. Camavinga. Right, Lukaku. Get involved. Use your strength. Well done. That's more like it. That's what I like to see, son. And now hudson Adoy has seen the run here of Odegaard, who lays it across. Oh, that's a good save. Yeah, I'm liking Odegaard. He's looking the part. Certainly give me a little bit more than Dybala did. Kulusevski. Here is Klosterman. And uh, what's that, ref? He's given a foul. Right. Luigi special from 55 yards is coming up. Stay tuned. We're about to uh, score an absolute belter. 
it's Luigi time. I think we're aim. We'll aim a little bit to his right. Is it too much on that one? Ooh. It was struck decent, you know, had a decent amount of power on it. Now a chance for Aston Villa to bring it forward. Hudahane. Yeah, we knew exactly where he was going. But, uh, there's no one in there for Watkins, so uh, that's comfortable. Oh, ho, ho! Olsen doing what Olsen can do. I guess uh, he did enough there. Camavinga. It is amazing, though. Honestly, I feel so much better now. It's, it's like when you go, you know, when you when you're dying for a number two and you, you finally get a chance to deliver, you know, in the bog, and and it, the relief is there. And right now, that's the relief I have that I'm actually able to control my players. The form seems to be actually doing something like it should. We haven't seen the dumbness, which isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing when we turn off? The, oh, that is a ball and a half, nearly. Amazing when we we, we, we use a new exe file and, and the problems seem to have diminished. Can't fathom it out. Konami butchering things. I just don't know why they do it. Anyway, here's a chance for Luigi. Lukaku. No, no, no. That heavy touch was always going to let him down. And here is Grealish. But I feel bad for people on consoles because they can't do this. This is just... This is added bonus you get for playing on the PC version. You can mod files. And unfortunately, this is what we have to end up doing. I don't like doing it. I'd rather play with the default gameplay, but... I can't deal with it. Not after the latest one. Anyway, Aston Villa are playing some good stuff. But you see also the AI, they're playing smarter. We're not seeing as many long balls. I mean, yeah, they try playing that one, but not as many long balls from the centre-back position. No, Gazi, Watkins. All right, we're just going to back away from him. Feeds it off. El Ghazi, now he wants to deliver. He does deliver. Mina gets up well. Odegaard touches that off to uh, Camavinga. Look, I was actually uh, able to change to Camavinga there in a blink of an eye. It's beautiful. Beautiful. A lovely play this. Aston Villa are working it well. I mean, that's a nice goal. I, I can't say anything about it. I can't even say, like, that's my fault or the AI uh, getting lucky. No, they just that's a nicely worked move. Credit where it's due. They play it out the line. Watch this. Give gives it back to him. It's a nice one-two. He feeds it off, and it's that is a cracking goal. It's a cracking goal. All right, let's go ahead and get Mr. Mina. There he is. Right, we've got Tar right behind him. We've got Lukaku lurking on the back post. Let's see if we can find Lukaku. There he is. No, he's not quite there. All right, Casemiro. That was about as slow as my grandma. But uh, Klosterman, look at him, not hanging about. Great play. Here is Grealish, finding Watkins now. Okay, Kula, you're going to have to get with him. Now go for the diver. Lovely challenge. Yeah, you're not booking him, Ref, because you know he got the ball. It's one of those. You dive in, you hope to get it. I thought I got the ball, but the referee had other ideas. Tark so tries to come across there. Back to El Ghazi again. He wants to cut back. He's done it a few times today. Went for the specialty. Back to Hudahane. Going to close him down. Lukaku can't get there. Ball's flicked on. This is where it's tough to maintain. And that's a comfortable save for Olsen. All right. Marlon has been summoned. We have summoned him from his uh, cocoon. And the big man is ready to do the business. So let's see if Marlon can do something today. And we shall go from there. Anyway, start that again. There we go. Back to Olsen. Klosterman. Kulisevsky. Ooh, he's trying to play on a 1-2 with Watkins. But honestly, you guys have seen the gameplay now for nearly two matches, right? Have you seen any of the problems that I showed you in the last couple of matches? Like, you haven't seen the AI be, uh, like, dumb, standing there... How? How has this possibly happened? I don't understand how a little mod can suddenly address some of the, the biggest problems I was having with the game. I feel like I can control them. I keep saying this, but the game feels like I'm on a totally, totally different game. I'm just hoping that when I switch the game off, the next time I boot it up, we don't get a different kind of match. Because that could happen as well. Great challenge. Breath. Come on now. Why didn't I open my mouth? 
<laughs> it's not even a penalty ref. Now, that's the problem with these mods is sometimes you're going to get this happening. Where's the penalty? Well, Mina won the ball and then Tar hit him. So, <sighs> oh, well, if we're going to concede the odd penalty, I guess we'll have to um, go for it. But Olsen's there. Redemption has been restored. Great save, Olsen. Read him like a book. Look at that for a save. He came off his line. VAI might have a word with him, but... Mings. Right, I think we're going to go a little bit more. A little bit more attacking. We, we need to. We need to. Hudahane finds uh, Taylor. Grealish. Well done, Kulisevsky. Can you see that? I can actually challenge the AI. It's mental, isn't it? Marlon, you want it to your feet? Tart. Odegaard. Back to him. This is what I love about Odegaard, though. His ability. Oh, lovely play. We nearly cut inside of him there. But Odegaard has really good feet. And obviously his ability to play those passes over the top. Much better than other players. Here's Mings. Konza. It's a tough game today. It really is. They're not playing bad, Aston Villa. Scored a great goal. Right, let's see. On a guard again. Kulisevsky, feed that one off. Give it back to Kulu. Right, he's got the leg, surely. Has he stolen it? Oh, no, he hasn't. I can't get down the wings. Oh, we got a problem here. we got a problem. Watkins. Oh, no, stay with him. Tart, no, you've let him turn! Jeez! What a finish! Well, we're getting spanked by Aston Villa in this episode, folks. Oh, not the confetti. I can't be doing with the confetti every time. We've got to clean that up afterwards. We got caught here. I was, I was hoping that Tar was going to come across quickly enough, but Barkley has just turned me like a dime, and it's an absolute belter of a finish, isn't it? Oh, well. After beating Man City 2-1, you thought we might use a little bit of a platform, but apparently not, because we're 2-0 down here, and it's not looking good. And once again, who do I bring on, though? There's, there's no one that I can really see that's going to come on and change this game. So we're just going to try and keep working this around, and, you know, we haven't played the best football, I'm not going to lie, but... Anyway, here we go. Hudson Adoy. No, nope, too much. Is he going to get there? Oh, he is still going to get there. Well done. Deliver that one in. Kulisevsky. Get that on the edge of the box. We're going for the old first time volley. Back to Kamavinga. Where on earth was that going? But the reactions of the players is so nice. Like, even when there's a loose ball, I feel like I can adjust quickly and change. I mean, I'm losing 2-0 here and I'm not whining about it. You know, because I know that I've been outplayed by Aston Villa in this game so far but he deserved the goals you know and I, I have faith that we can get back into uh, some of these matches nicely done Klosterman that's uh, is that a good ball though no it's pathetic and that's been my biggest problem today the final pass has been lacking but it, give me a few games give me a few games and we'll address the concerns oh, can't. oh that's the ball right there oh Marlon have you missed that son how on earth have you missed that? And we'll take that throw, Ref. No, it hasn't gone out. How did Marlon miss that? He was literally in the goal mouth. Uh, he must have lost the flight of the ball. It's too green for him. Right, here's Douglas Luiz. Luigi, get a foot in. Ref plays the advantage. Get it out, Ref. Get out of it. No, Gazi. And oh, that's going to be comfortable for... Olsen, roll that out quickly. Come on, lads. 20 minutes. Do we make a change? I mean, do we go three up top? Who am I going to bring on? Well, there's some space out wide here. Ah, Luigi's off. He's off. No, he's not off. He would have been onside as well. Martinez launches it out to Ogazi. Cash. And Kamavinga try to read that pass there. Well done, Mina. All right, well, it's good news, folks, because if, if this is how all the matches are going to play then fantastic. We're going to be back to actually enjoying this game um, as opposed to having an absolute nightmare. And I really like the AI. I think they've been splendid today. We've seen some really nice football by them. They're not playing these long, long balls every five seconds. They're trying to work it forward. Marlon's just not getting involved either. 
Come on, Marlin. Come on, Marley. It's like Marlin's... I don't know. I don't know what he was doing at half-time. He's had too many oranges. But look, it's a good physical battle. We're seeing random things happening. It's lovely to see. Seriously, Konami, just use this and put it in your game and everyone will be happy. I'm telling you, if everyone played on this, you guys would be delighted with this. Like, you won't be delighted with the way I've played. <laughs> but you'll be delighted with how it feels. All right, well, they're going to make a change. I'm going to make some changes. Uh, El Ghazi's actually had a good game today. He's been a nightmare down the flanks. But, yeah, we'll see who we can bring on. We'll mix it up. All right, so we'll just make the one. Uh, we're going to go like a 4, a 3-4-3 three, three diamond formation uh, with three up top. So Alan pushes in the middle. Well, I don't know how many attempts we've had on goal in this half. I generally don't think we've really had an attempt. Like, I don't really know what we've been doing. Anyway, I'm liking Odegaard. I think he's been a good signing. And we've only played him a few matches, but I think he's going to really help out. That's a good challenge there. Won the ball. If we can get some sort of a goal back here, we'll be nice. All right, here's Watkins. Mina, you go across because uh, I'm going to cover the man in the middle. And on Strakosha. Oh, not Strakosha. Olsen. Feed that one out to uh, Kulosevsky now. What a guard in the middle. They're just not playing the right passes today. And it's it's been a little bit annoying in that, in that aspect. Well done, Casemiro. Marlon. All right, come on, lads. This is it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the vibes. Marlon's doing this alone. No one's there. Oh! I mean, that was a strike, wasn't it? I mean, I saw something fly up in the sky, but it hit the stanchion. But no, that's nice play by Marlon. Love the pace. Love the acceleration and the finish. It's not bad. He's just, just over the bar. Right, we need to get this in the box. Flick it. Well done. All right. How good's the ball? How good's the ball? Get up. Oh, let's come back to Allen. It's Luigi. Oh, he scores and it's offside. You son of a gun. Actually went in as well. It would have counted. The goalie missed it. Gutting. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tough second half of the season. You know, this game now has become a lot tougher. I'm not going to lie, it has. Um, which I'm fine with. You know, we'll accept the challenge. But it's going to be a tough second half to the season. We just need to work on a little bit better possession. And just doing better things with the ball. And some of the passing has just not been, it's not been crisp enough. All right, Casemiro. Odegaard. It's a good touch, but David Luiz. Not David Luiz. Uh, Douglas Luiz. I've probably been calling him David Luiz. Oh, that's... Uh, well, good. I'm glad you took a touch like that. There's no way you should have even been able to control that. So, thank you. I mean, look at Watkins. He's done. Absolutely annihilated. All right, Klosterman. I'm going to actually ask Klosterman to keep going it. All right, we're going to pass that on to Allen. And the ref's going to bring it back for the free kick. Well, you're going to give me the foul for that one. Looks like he gave him a, a little bit of a shove in the back. And then, you know, you got to milk it. All right, we're going to bring Mina up. We are going to bring the Mina into the mix. Um, should we go near post? Let's go right here. Come on, Mina. Let's see if he can nod this on. Oh, absolute waste. Absolute waste of a time. That's all right, Alan. Flick it across. Camavinga. Back to uh, Mina. Okay, well, that's not going to work because Mina's uh, are like a snail. Kulisevsky's going to use the pace with the old roundabouts and then fire one in towards the likes of Luigi. Comes back, Camavinga. Here's Marlon now. He falls to the turf. Ref, that's our foul. Yes, thank you very much. Right. If we can score this, although free kicks are meant to be harder with this mod, I don't know. Unless it's been added. That was an interesting, uh, <laughs> interesting attempt. It seems like the collisions aren't as bad. That, that's what I'm getting out of this. Anyway, we have got Odegaard to take this. So, um, all right, let's see what we can do. It is going to be Odegaard, and he's got no bend on it. All right, well, I thought he would have more bend on his finishing, but I guess not. All right, well, the gap could be down to just, uh, what, two points now in the Premier League after this display. Uh, I, give, I give full credit to Aston Villa for playing well today. Oh, don't concede another one now. Just switched off there. 
Alan flicks it on himself. Here's Marlon just trying to absolutely annihilate that one into Luigi. Feed it off to him, and the referee's going to blow now for full time. And there it is. So a win today in an important game. I mean, look, I'd rather beat Man City than, than Aston Villa, but obviously I'd rather get six points out of six. But I'm feeling promised. Promised? Is it a word? I'm feeling, uh, you know, more energetic after these two matches. I mean, really, really liking the feel of this right now. I'm going to leave the link for the description. Uh, the link for the description. Link for the uh, the gameplay mod in the description of the pinned comment. There it is. Seven attempts to seven. It was an even game, apparently, but we still got outplayed. Man of the match today was Mr. Ross Barkley. But yeah, I'll leave the link there. Check it out. Go on, give Holland a big thank you. If this stays the way it is, you know, we've got to play more than two games because Data Pack 5 felt good for a few games and then it went absolutely shocking. So. Anyway, Man City, what's happened to them? Losing 1-0 to the Fulham. Man United losing as well. What's happened to them? 3-1 to Brighton, although we lost. Uh, West Ham drew. Burnley beat Newcastle. Sheffield United beat Southampton, but Liverpool did win. So did Tottenham. And Chelsea and Arsenal both dropping points. So, yeah, it's a bit of inconsistencies, but Liverpool and Tottenham are closing the gap. I think Liverpool are going to be a little bit more consistent here, so I need to wake up because... We've now lost three matches in the last, like, four or five games. And our goal difference is slowly going down. Uh, bottom of the table, obviously, will still be Nottingham Forest, Southampton, and Leeds United. So, we're going to return because we've got Newcastle coming up. And then we are heading into the FA Cup. I was going to say Champions League. Uh, but the FA Cup to take on the Chelsea uh, we've got a couple of scouting options, but we're obviously not too concerned about that. And yeah, just a scouting result. Anyway, I will return for the next episode. Let me know your thoughts below. But honestly, I mean, I've said it a thousand times in this episode, but it felt great. I mean, it really did. The difference between that and Data Pack 5 is just night and day. You know? Crazy. All right, until next time, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and take care.